let's suppose we have a circle with radius r, and I mark a point on the circle and rotate it around to this new point. There are two different kinds of motions that this particular point is undergoing, and as a result, two different types of velocity. Let's start with linear velocity. This is defined as distance over time. So if I need to think about how far this particular point has gone, it's gone the length of this arc. So distance is going to be the length of the arc, which is given by theta r, where theta is the central angle that intercepts this arc. So that tells me my total distance. So my linear speed or linear velocity is denoted by a v and is given by s over t, where t is time, or theta r over t. The other type of speed or movement that this particular point is undergoing is angular, angular velocity or angular speed. This looks at how far it's gone around the circle, so it looks at how many turns of the circle. It looks at the revolutions in a given time. How many times does the circle spin around? The amount that a circle has spin, spun around is determined by this angle theta. So this is just theta over t, and it's denoted by the Greek letter omega. So we can see my linear speed, which was theta r over t, can be rewritten as theta over t r. Theta over t is omega times r. So linear speed and angular speed are very much related.